Alright guys, how's it going? Alright, so in this part we're gonna take a look at this mission, The Last Array. It's the fifth story mission in the, in the beta so far. And it's actually the first mission with rewards in the heavy weapon upgrade and the XP bonus. So let's jump into this mission, keep it on normal, and let's launch. There's reports a team of Guardians went dark near the old Skywatch. They were running a mission for Dead Orbit, had codes to a hidden array that could reconnect us to other colonies in the system. If we can find their ghosts, maybe we can open that array. The ghosts were last heard from near the Skywatch. Let's head there and see if we can find them. Uh, just before we carry on, I'm going to um, quickly show you guys what I just purchased in the tower. I unlocked um, you know, from Mission Rewards. I got a Pulse Rifle and a Scout Rifle. I also purchased um, this Fusion Rifle. I want to try it out. It's a special weapon, like along with the shotgun, so it's not a primary weapon. I'm gonna, this is a, still the same auto rifle we started the game with, so I'm going to switch it up for a, a, this new AM scout rifle. See how it works out. It's got more damage. Might be better. I don't know. And they got some also, some upgrades. And they've actually got stats on them. Discipline, this one has, and this one's got strength. I think strength reduces the cooldown on one of your abilities. And discipline uh, reduces the cooldown on your, on your grenades. And there's another stat as well called light. And that light... Um, Increases the effectiveness of your damaging ability, so it just it's just a damage boost in that stat. So along with that, let's game, let's head into them, the next mission. So this one's a scout rifle, I believe. It's got 11 bullets per clip. Right, so we're heading over there. We may as well jump on our vehicle. Get over there nice and quick. I quite like the look of the armor in this game. It's quite detailed, and um, you know, it's Starship Trooper. It looks pretty cool. So, I think the enemies in the areas as well tend to stay around the set. They stay to their own level. They don't level with you. So, as you level up, this place will become, like, pointless coming back here because the enemies will all be level 2 to 4, probably, still. Right, this is the stuff. We've been here before. This, um... How'd you get off the mount? X. There we go. Okay, so let's put this away. There's a few enemies up here. Let's check out the scout rifle. Alright, this 46 foot damage per shot. I think the weapon we were using was doing um, 20 per shot, but obviously this is um, an actual rifle. It's got a lot less shots per clip. It's not actually pra the headshots actually do a lot of damage. 137. All right, we've tested that out. Let's test out the um, the new fusion rifle we've got. I don't even know how this works. I think it's a shotgun by the looks of it. I think you might have to charge up the bullets. That's right, that's right, yeah, you do charge it. It was a waste of a shot, though. You don't get many shots. We've got 15 bullets left. So you have to hold down R2 to fire that. And when it's fully charged, it just shoots itself. Heading back through that hive breeding ground. The vanguards say they're spilling onto the surface now, keeping the fallen busy. Just quickly, yep, yeah, go in the right direction. Alright, let's see what we've got up here. Gonna be another dark zone, probably, where if you die, you'll respawn. Outside of it, I want to test this out. See what the damage is like on it. It's a big blast. You can imagine it's going to do more damage than a gen, like a normal standard shotgun, because it is like charged. Are we going this way? No. It's weird the way that is actually open, but it's blocked. There's an invisible wall in front of it. Yeah, we're going this way. The same way as last time we were here. I think in the first or second mission. Right, let's put that away, actually. <laughs> I can't shoot my gun if that's open. Alright, so... What's going on over here? People shooting each other. Whoa, that wrecks! I like this. <laughs> it's a shame it's only got so few bullets, though. Wow. There's 38 damage per shot, and it fires about 5 or 6 bullets. So it just kills most enemies at one attack. I like that. It doesn't look like it penetrates through enemies, though. Get those guys a grenade. Nice. <laughs> it's got quite a long range on it as well for a shotgun type of bit, like gun. I know it's a fusion rifle, I think it's called, but you know, it, it's treated like a shotgun. It got supercharged there. So we'll save that for a boss or a pack of mobs. Let's get this new weapon out. I'm a bit low on bullets with the um, fusion rifle. I want to save it for a boss. Seeing as it's just such. Good um, base damage. 
There's a guy over here somewhere. There he's gone. Oh, I was gonna throw a grenade then. I realized it was on cooldown. There's a grenade next to me. There it is. Oh! Alright, so these guys are throwing grenades at me as well. Took that guy out. Scout rifle's actually not that bad. I thought it would be like a hunter weapon. I think it is, but it works quite well at the moment because, you know, it's semi automatic and it's um, actually got a good short range scope on it. So it's not like I have to be far back to use it effectively. Got a grenade there for it. I think he might have moved out of the way. Oh, we got a hit marker from it. We only got that guy though. Okay, he's, hit, he's hitting us a bit there. Let's get the fusion rifle out. Blast him. Oh, what have we got? Ammo. We got we picked up some ammo with that, so we've got more than five shots now. The ghosts. They're in a clearing between buildings, not far from here. I like the um, the effect on that gun when they just disintegrate into the air. All right, so where are we going? We're going this way. All right, well, it's, oh god, there's three people out here. So we're we'll recovering the ghosts. All right, there's a the bunch of mobs. Here. The fallen have them. We got plenty of ammo right now. Like I need reviving actually. I think he might have actually respawned already because the mark has gone now. Oh, I like this. Just picking off people from the distance. These guys are level six. I think level six is too high level for me because his name is number. See where the numbers in, in yellow? That's probably an indicator to say, you know, these guys are going to be dangerous. Yeah, they take some more more shots to kill. The dregs do. Dregs will normally die in like a very short amount of shots. They're fighting each other, these guys. The Chosen for all is fighting against the the Dregs. Strange. I thought the Fallen were all like on the same side. Ow, what was that? Whoa! Get some um, distance and try and recover a bit of HP. They, I think these are the Fallen Ghosts here that we have to pick up. There's a Marker's. Dead ghost. Dead. Yeah. Keep hunting. Okay, so we need to find one that's not that's still working. You know the ghosts are Nothing. the little find things that float one. around and give you advice. Whoa, what's this guy? Whoa! Let's find the array. Shut up. Uh, find the oh, wanna find myself some cover before we find the array. Getting shot the hell up there. What were those guys? They were like tanks. Let's see him snipe these guys out. Okay, we took him out. Right, where are we heading? Over there. So did we pick up a ghost that gave us some intel there? I was too busy getting shot to um, notice what we picked up. Alright, so are we going inside here? Maybe. Need to reload this? No, it's fine. Yeah, we're, in, we're going inside here. I'm wondering how many missions there are going to be. Story missions. The darkness is growing stronger. We have to finish this. The array control station is in the next sector. Am I going the right way? Yes. I was going to say, I'm wondering how many missions they're going to be per planet. Probably going to be about 10 or something, I can imagine. Right, respawning restricted. We're in a, like an instant zone now. The darkness zone, they call it. Get all my level again. I think I'm level 4. Yeah, I am. You can see at the bottom what level I am. My experience bar there as well. Headshot! Woo! I don't know what it is, but since I started playing the FPS games on the PS4, my aiming has gotten so much better. I find the PS4 pad, the, the dual sticks, is so much easier to control than on the PS3. It must be the, the groove, you know, the indentation on the stick. It just makes it so much easier to fire aim. Alright, so let's reload this gun. Oh, we got guys in there. Let's give this guy a punch. There we go. 93 damage on the punch. Headshots galore. I like this gun though. <laughs> I'm wondering as well, like, how many different types of guns they're going to be. Not so much different types, but, you know, how they're going to vary between the same type. You know, like in, in Borderlands 2. It's a similar game to this. There were so many different types of weapons you could get. Different scopes, different, you know... Approaching the control station. This is it. Alright, so I don't think we're in the darkness zone anymore. 
think Darkness Zone was only inside this building. It looks like we've left because there's no indication on the bottom left telling us that we're in one. So, uh, these guys are dropping. Just gotta keep going and dumb going to want to use a grenade, but don't really need to because they're just getting shot up. Oh. oh. Is that guy, uh, there's a captain over there. So he's got a shield, shield on. Might throw a grenade at him if we get a bit closer. And he's um, cornered in the, up here. Right, there he is. Let's give him a grenade. I think the grenades may stick. I'm not sure though. He's down. Pew! I love the punch. It's, it feels so real. So raw. You feel like you're physically hitting them. It's not just like they're in range of your melee attack. Alright. Still got plenty of ammo. Let me use that other rifle. We were always low on ammo. Whoa, getting shot in the back there. Punch. Oh. Okay, these guys are ugh, in my face. Picked up some armor there. A gate watch. Let's regenerate some HP and then we'll let's just punch this guy in the face. <laughs> oh, nice. Uh, it's, it's conserved as much ammo as we can on that gun because it is really effective. Feels like the melee just kills anyone <laughs> with one punch. He had like three quarters health, health. Whoa. Stealth, guys. Go away. Whoa. Whoa. Go away. Reloading. Ah! Oh. I, sh oh, I don't like them. <laughs> Maybe we should get the shotgun out and take them out quickly. The fusion rifle. Is it called a fusion rifle? I don't think it's a rifle. It's classed as one. Another captain here. Let's try and get another grenade on that guy because the grenades seem to take the shields out straight away. There he is. Give him a grenade. 103 damage with that. He's still got a shield. He's stunned though. So we can take him out pretty nice. That's stun. That's cool. I'll see if these codes still work. Right, ghost, do your work. Gonna have to defend them. Negotiating crypto systems. Shore resistance security lattice verified. It's working. Outside the array. It's opening. Secure the array. Is that it? Whoa, what's that? Amazing. It's activated. Whoa, look at that. Whoa, what's this? Hive tomb ships. They look like poison. You know, like this green. What do I do with these? What, did I come out the, out the water? Or what did I come out of? What? I've got a symbol here. Defend. I'll take a shield. Like, oh shit. Whoa. There's a wizard. Ah. Whoa. Fuck. Take out this wizard. Got some encrypted Engram boots there. We'll have to identify them once we get back to the, the tower. Nice. Yeah, but those Engrams are like, if you ever played Diablo, similar to when, when you used to have to, where well, you still do have to identify um, legendaries. Whoa, there's noise. Oh my god. Let's get some distance, get back in some safe cover. Nice. Oh, I didn't see those explosions then. Go away. I don't like these night guys, they're scared. That they, they look dangerous. Alright. There's one. Nice, leveled up. Level 5. Might have got a new skill there. It's, it's a bit of a... Yeah, we upgrade unlocked. Can't really check out right now because we're going to get killed. 
So I don't think you can actually pause in this game. It doesn't pause. It's so much um, just brings up the menu and keeps the like, action rolling. Might have to use my supercharge soon. Hallowed Knight, he's the boss. Right, I'm going to do supercharge onto the boss. Is that him? That's him. Nice. 787. He's dead. That was nice and easy. That was in a really, really effective cooldown, that um, supercharge. What's it called? Havoc Thunder or something? I can't even remember now. That's the end of the mission. The array. It's controlled by Rasputin, the last war mine. He won't let me in. But it's connecting to defense constructs all across the system. There could be something out there. Alright, so it looks like the um, the beta is, I mean, the story is still continuing. We're going to get to the end of this. We'll probably unlock the ability to travel to new planets and that's when the story is going to end in the beta, I think. 98 kills. Uh, what do we get there? Got a pair of boots and we also got an ancient recording. It's a mission reward. Recording captured by your ghost of the Rasputin firewall. Of interest at a tower gunsmith. So we can give that to the gunsmith and he'll give us a reward. Probably a choice of different types of weapons, seeing as he is a, as he is a gunsmith. Alright, so what's our option next? Do we actually have any more missions to do? There are no missions. We've got Explore. That's a new thing, I think. Well, I think that's just um, in the alpha. You used to go there and there were just loads of mini quests to do. You know, and once you did one, the, the next one popped up, and you just—I think it was a way to grind. You know, get levels, and also hopefully pick up bits of gear if you weren't ready for the next stage. And I think this is probably the next stage, really, where it's a dungeon, a group dungeon, where you're going to be with three, two other players. So um, before we go there, we've actually got a reward to turn in to the tower, the gunsmith. Let's see what he gives us. All right, so the crucible invitation. Alright, it's an invite to do PvP. So we've done all the, looks like we might have done all the PvE stuff, the campaign, the story. So let's just give a, check what these um, quest rewards are. We got one with this guy. This is the Engwin we just picked up in that last mission. A pair of boots. Yeah. Give it to him, he'll decode it. So we got those boots up there. And we also got, I think that's Reputation, that. Yeah, it's on the left here. Reputation, yeah. Crypto Archaeology. Decode Engwin's to unlock new Engwin's for purchase. Achieve a high rank to earn rewards. So it looks like every time you level up the reputation you might get a reward or maybe access to something new. You can also purchase engrams here and once you purchase it it gives you the item and what it, a, a random item of that item type like boots, weapon, helmet, um, chest armor. I haven't got that much glimmer so I'm, I'm not going to do that because I don't think they, um, that they give you that great gear anyway because the, the good gear mainly comes from the um, the Vanguard missions, you know, the tokens. So what's this? We got this thing now, didn't we? This item. So we're giving this um, ancient recording to the gunsmith. And this is our option of rewards. Machine gun. Machine gun. Rocket launcher. And another rocket launcher. So as well, at the bottom there, you can see on each weapon, it's got like a secondary stat. It's easier to aim under fire using this weapon. This one increases um, stability. I won't expect to find more ammo for this weapon. Okay, so this has a chance to drop more ammo for, off enemies for that weapon type. And this one kills with this weapon and reduce the cooldown of your grenade. So, yeah, it's cool. They, they affect different things in your character's abilities. I think I'm going to check out a machine gun, like a light machine gun, see what these are like. There's 48, 96 in that one, in that clip. That one's got 48. It's got a faster rate of fire. This one's got better range impact. The stability is the same on both. We're going to go for the higher clip one because it's, it's a light machine, isn't it? That's what it's all about. And also now we've got new weapons to purchase. I'm only level 5, so I can't really purchase anything useful. Careful out there. Now let's go check out this Crucible Invitation. That's the only quest we've got left in the tower. Hello. This is the Crucible vendor. Quartermaster, it looks like. Alright, an invitation to hone your skills with other guardians. Accept invitation. Join the ranks of guardians who hone their skills in lawful combat against their peers. Deal. 
So that's it. Sorry there are no items available here. Please check back during a future visit. See if any there's any new infantry. So that's just kind of give us an, the ability to um, access PvP now. So let's just quickly check our van uh, uh, Titan, you know, Quartermaster. See if he's got anything. The gear, he hasn't got any special gear really. It's just all standard white stuff. So it looks like that's everything, everything we can access so far in the beta. Apart from the, um, the dungeon. Well, in the next part, we're going to do the dungeon. The, um, what do they call it? Um, I can't remember what they call it. But it's like a free player um, dungeon where there's bosses and each boss drops like, I think, good gear. So, we'll do that in the next part, guys. See, here we go. It's called the strike. It's a level 6 strike. I think I'm level 5. So I'm just under the level required for that. So we'll jump into that next part. And um, also, look on the map now, here's the PvP. There is only, there's, what's it called, control, that's a mission type. So it's like game, um, Domination in Call of Duty, if you're familiar with that. So, there we go. Oh, we just leveled up, didn't we, in the last mission, so we unlocked the new ability. Let's quickly check out what that is, and then we'll end it, end it there. Okay, a punishing melee attack that deals bonus damage. So our melee attack now does more damage. And... Once again, you just click on it and it activates it. We didn't have to actually have to um, purchase it in any way. So let's see what else we've got coming up. So training focused on battle recovery and toughness. So if you look at the top left there, these um, stats, if you highlight that, they're increased with the green bar. So they must give you more armor and more recovery. Simple as that. There's a lot of things you unlock. I think as well in future, in the full game release, there will be specs where you can specialize in a certain... There you go, subclass. So that requires level 15 to start that, and that's Defender. And you can see there's an empty slot there, so there will be other side classes you can pick. There'll probably be a tank one, and a, like a more damage dealing one. Alright guys, so we've looked at everything there. Alright guys, I'm going to end this part here then. So, um, join me in the next part, and we'll take a look at the Devil's Lair. The um, level 6 dungeon. Strike. That's what's called, a strike, not a dungeon. Alright, see you guys.